Well, let's talk about the Premier League. Manchester City came from two goals down on an incredible final day to beat Liverpool to the Premier League title. They scored three goals in five minutes to beat Aston Villa 3-2 to win it for the fourth time in five years. They finished one point ahead of Liverpool, who also came from behind, beating Wolves 3-1 at Anfield. Tottenham finished in the last Champions League place, just behind Chelsea. Drama two at the bottom as Leeds beat Brentford, meaning Burnley drop into the second tier of English football for the first time since 2017. One man who's used to late drama is former professional player and legendary manager Harry Redknapp, who joins us now to reflect on a massive day in the Premier League. Hi, Harry. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm so well. Have you got your breath back? Uh, it was amazing, amazing day. I mean, uh, it suddenly looked like Man City had blown it, you know, 2-0 down. And in all honesty, you know, they they could have been even, it could have been even worse. They had a couple of great opportunities, Aston Villa, to go, you know, could have, could have scored a couple more. And you really couldn't see Man City coming back. They weren't playing well. They weren't creating a lot, especially in that first half. They got better second half. But no, they looked like they were going to. It was going to all, all fade away, and that. Uh, but Liverpool was still drawing at that time, so you weren't sure which way it was going to end up. Yeah, too right, uh, Harry. Just how good are Liverpool and Man City at the moment in historic terms? Uh, they're fantastic, Mark. They're the two best teams in the world in world football. Uh, just amazing football teams. There's, there's nothing between them. You know they're. They're, they're so on par. It's, you know, uh, Liverpool have now got Champions League final, which I think they'll win against Real Madrid. They've won the Cups. You know, Man City win the league. They're just amazing. And the football they play is absolutely top class. They've got great squads. They've got great strength in depth, you know. They're, they're two special teams. They're, they're way ahead of anybody else in the Premier League and anywhere else, in, in my opinion, in Europe. Harry, Liverpool came that close to winning another league title. Uh, will their heads drop? I mean, what would you be saying to them if you were in the dressing room this afternoon? Because obviously they've got to go and beat Real Madrid now. Well, there's so much to play for. You know, they've got to be proud of what they've achieved. They've been amazing this year. To win Cups and then to take it to the last game of the season like they have today. Uh, one point in it, nothing between the two teams, really. And now they've got a Champions League final, which, uh, I, as I say, I'm very confident they'll win. Uh, they're just an amazing football club, amazing team. We've got two great teams. Man City have been fantastic. They're both, both top class. Um, Harry, does the, does the league never lie, that table? Uh, do you think that City were fractionally better than Liverpool at the end of the day? I, w I don't know, Mark. Is any, you know, it was one of those. It was where, it was where the will stopped, you know, uh, City were two down last week at West Ham. Looked like they were going to maybe get beat there and came back and, and got a draw. Uh, but today, as I say, it could have been all over for them, really. But they were, they're, they're on par. They, I think if they played each other ten times, you'd probably, you know, every week could be different. Either one is capable of beating the other. So, But I think the league is what it is. They're the top two teams. Chelsea, for me, were the third best team. Tottenham were the fourth best team. And then I think West Ham were a little bit unlucky. They could have easily finished fifth uh, if they hadn't got involved perhaps in, in that great European run they had. But then there was Arsenal, top uh, West Ham, Man United, who, were, who were need to regroup for next season. But the league, yeah, pretty much uh, it's a fair reflection of the play. Uh, I'm delighted to say, Harry, that we also have the co-founder of Talk Sport Radio, of course, a legendary Fleet Street journalist who covered the back pages for many years at The Sun and The Express. Mike Porky Parry is with us. Uh, Mike, uh, what an afternoon of football. I indeed. Harry, great to share a show with you on this historic you, day. Historic day being the, you know, the last day of uh, another sparkling, fantastic uh, Premiership season. I want to talk to you about uh, Sean Dyche and Burnley in a minute, Harry, but can I put this question to you first, please? Pep Guardiola yeah. said 48 hours before today's game... It's the Premier League that matters most. It's the Premier League that I'm most concerned about. Is he covering his own back here, Harry? Because apart from inheriting the world's greatest team at Barcelona, he was a member of that team before he took it over as a manager, he hasn't been able to crack the world's top tournament, the Champions League, since he left there. I mean, doesn't he need to do that to prove that he is, you know, the Svengali coach 
that we all believe him to be? Well, I th obviously, that's got to be top of his agenda now, Mike, to win that Champions League. You know, there's no doubt he's, he's desperate to win that with Man City. Um, so, but he is, a, he is a great coach, obviously. He's got a great group of players and they're, they're two fantastic teams. But I think until he wins the Champions League with Man City, he'll never be happy, really. Winning the title again, they've done it just almost blasé now. What's that, four times? But the Champions League is still the one that's eluding him. They've, you know, they, they've brought Haaland in now to, to hopefully strengthen them yet further next year and they'll be looking to win Champions League for sure. Well, absolutely right. What is it about Liverpool, Harry, that makes them just keep winning Champions Leagues? Even if they don't win them, <laughs> they get to the final on a regular basis. Yeah. Remember, I'm an Evertonian. And, and oh, you know, absolutely. Everton and Liverpool I don't know, the like, same you know, size sort of when, clubs. When, when you look at the league, you know, when you look at Champions League, with the, you know, we've got the strongest teams here now, I think, you know. Yeah. Even Chelsea was strong this year and we were unlucky to go out of the competition. Uh, but I do think that, uh, you know, the Premier League is where the best teams are at the moment. You know, a few years ago, Barcelona were reigning, then Bayern Munich. We've had the Italian teams that are not as strong anymore, Juventus and that. They're not, they're not competing when it comes to the final stages. It's definitely now, it's like last year, British teams, English teams, the English teams, are the, we, we're the strongest. So yeah. it's been fantastic. We've got some great teams and great players in this country. Absolutely. Harry, getting to Burnley, when you heard Sean Dyche had been fired by Burnley some 10 games ago, 10, 12 games ago, yeah. what, what was your reaction? My reaction was, as an Evertonian, I'm rather glad because I think Sean Dyche is a brilliant manager who's done a brilliant Absolutely. job at Burnley over a decade and that gives Everton an opportunity to get one over Burnley because they've got rid of a great man. I couldn't agree with you more. He's done an amazing job. I mean, what a time to sack him. Uh, and I listened the other day, Mike. I see people on TV putting these stats together. Since he's gone, oh, they've had more possession. They've had more corners. They've had more shots or whatever. You know, the percentage. Who have they played? They haven't played Man City in that period or they haven't played... You know, stats can make... You can make anything out of stats. You know, of course, they've had more possession. They're playing teams in and around them at the lower ends of the table where they're going to get more possession, more shots. So there's no way Sean Dyche should have gone. He was amazing. Absolutely mm. ah. great job there, keeping them in the league. And I do fear for Burnley now. I think next year, they're not a team I look at no. I think well, they'll I come agree. straight back up next year. I uh, really Harry, do fear uh, Harry, for Burnley. Yeah. Harry, very briefly, first of all, let me say you look fantastically well and it's great to have you on the show. Um, mm. Briefly, great news for Frank Lampard uh, and, of course, great news for Mike Porky, Parry and Everton. What a brilliant way to keep yourself safe. And uh, Frank can really kick on now, can't he, next season? Hopefully. I mean, listen, I've become a massive Everton supporter as well. Believe you me, I've been kicking every ball, you know, in this last few weeks. And I, I thought they were gone. I must be truthful. Mm. I really thought it looks like they're going to go. Then they had a couple of amazing results, the Chelsea result, going to Leicester yeah. and winning. Just yeah. pulled off a couple of great wins when they needed them. The win the other night against Palace, 2-0 down at half-time, looking mm. like really there's no way back and then turning it Harry, around. Harry, absolutely. He needs some support. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.